I think you are being somewhat hasty, Mr. Westinghouse. Possibly. There could be no scientific progress without some risk. People have been known to risk their lives. What then is my money to that? Do you really sincerely believe in the project? <laughs> I wouldn't be here if I didn't. What if on top of that million dollar sum, I asked you to pay me one dollar for every horsepower we produce? I would agree. We'll put it in the contract. Don't be so quick to agree. You realize that we are talking about countless units of horsepower. And how about Edison? He won't take it without a fight, as long as he is opposed to it. How will you introduce our system? I'll be able to manage it with your patents. The point is, you have truth on your side. Tell me the truth, Mr. Westinghouse. Are you helping me because you believe this will be of value to science and civilization, or are you in it for the profit? Listen to me, my friend. I'm an inventor myself, but I never forget that without money, I cannot put my inventions into practice. So, what if I do hope to make a little profit? I am happy you got angry. I'm beginning to believe you. Some Swiss cheese and an apple. And make sure that the apple is washed with boiling water. A cream caramel. Uh, some fruit. Coffee, of course. And uh, cheers, Testa. To your health. You seem to be drinking my wine. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You're confusing me, Tesla. Can I assume then that we have an agreement that you accept? I was joking. What do you mean? No charge per horsepower. But I wasn't joking. You will get a dollar for every horsepower generated. You've got to be rich, Tesla, so that you can be free and independent. What's wrong, Tesla? Peaches, please take them away. They make me ill. Wait a minute. Wait. Fred. Fred. The peaches. Take the peaches away. No dessert of any kind. I would suggest a short break. Those in favor? Aye. 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 I could use a break. George, now why do you think Adams wanted a break at this point? Come on, Billy. Don't pretend such innocence. It isn't Adams who is chairing this meeting, but one who is more conspicuous by his absence. We all know who that is. Oh, yes. Only too well. Yeah, I hear you, Adams. The preliminaries are over. Has Edison made his speech yet? No. George Westinghouse? Not yet. Well, call on Edison to speak first, then Westinghouse, and then put forward proposal number two and close the meeting. Is that clear? Yes. Yes, proposal two. Gentlemen, we are fortunate to have Mr. Thomas Alba Edison here in the capacity of advisor. It would be most helpful to hear his opinion. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Now, gentlemen, I'll say this, that whether we pipe water to the plant or build the plant near Niagara Falls is a matter to be discussed. But there is only one system. Direct current has already been adopted throughout the world. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Westinghouse. Gentlemen, direct current is not the only system in existence. There is also Mr. Nikola Tesla's alternating current. It can guarantee the transmission of power over enormous distances. It is simple. It is practical. It is the system that Mr. Tesla himself has perfected along with 40 registered patents. Now, 
I have here a Gentlemen, that system is nothing but pure fantasy. And dangerous fantasy at that. That is a subject for discussion, Mr. Edison. It's a subject I would be happy to discuss with you, Mr. Gentlemen, Edison. gentlemen, gentlemen. We are discussing a matter of great importance. I think it would be best to have an international competition. Mr. Edison, you are the best qualified among us to name the man who would head the panel of judges. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Gentlemen, there's only one such man in the world. I'm sure you'll all agree. Physicist, mathematician, and great inventor, Lord Kelvin of Great Britain. Will the International Exposition in Paris be another triumph for you, Mr. Edison? Well, my electrical current will light up the whole fair. And will your principles be applied at Niagara Falls? Well, I was not aware of the possibility of any other principles being applied. Young man, the whole of Europe uses my system. The whole world, in fact. Well, what about alternating current? Oh, that system shouldn't even be considered. Alternating current is a danger to human life. Start the generator. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you have just seen alternating currents in action. Now it is a cruel fact that we had to kill this little dog. But we did it as a preventive measure in order to ensure that in the future, people will not fall victim to alternating currents in the same way. Now we need devices to help improve humanity, not kill it. Now I'm going to ask Congress to put a ban on the use of alternating current. Thank you. Thank you. Edison, Nick, that damned Edison. What's happened, George? Oh, the committee. The committee is to be chaired by Lord Kelvin. He's Edison stooge. That's why he picked him, but listen to this. Alternating current used at Sing Sing. The condemned man, William Kemmler, did not have a painless death after all. The electric current had to be switched on several times. Those who constructed the electric chair failed to calculate the voltage required. Now, isn't that disgusting? Let me take care of this, Mr. Tessie. I'll go teach him a lesson. Let them busy, though. It's not their fault. George, get together all the people you know as quickly as possible and bring them here. Tell them Tesla is going to torture his guests with electricity. They will all come, you will see. Mr. Enrico Caruso, Mr. Nikola Tesla. Bravo Tesla, mio caro. Mr. Ignaz Paderewski, Mr. Nikola Tesla. How do you do? Mr. Samuel Clemens, alias Mark Twain, Mr. Nikola Tesla. What a pleasure, Mr. Tesla. For all the pleasure you have given me in your books, I am very much indebted to you, Mr. Clemens. I'm glad to hear I have one debtor, mostly. I'm blessed with creditors. <laughs> Is there anything you need, Mr. Clemens? I had hoped I'd see a few of my critics here. I was thinking I'd recommend them for the electric chair. <laughs> <laughs> Won't you sit down? Thank you. George? Catherine. Bob. Hello, Nick. I'm curious, Nicky. What is it that you plan to do this evening? Catherine, I am now considered an executioner. I've never believed that for a moment. Mr. Jack Wilson, Mr. Nikola Tesla. What is it, George? Thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thanks. 
Sahib.